Okay, so I'm gonna throw it up. The aim is get the ball. Okay. Get the ball. Got it picked up quickly. Well read, good man. Camp J Mac is in memory of John McMahon, member of St John's GAC. Uh, he was killed in a car accident two years ago. We just thought we'd run a, cool, run a sort of camp similar to the cool camps, but for an older age, for 13 to 17 year olds. VHI, cool camps that Down do and other counties do, you know, they do a lot of good work and they do it at a crucial stage, you know, at the under 12 and a 14 sort of level. But uh, I suppose St John's take the initiative that. Uh, a certain age group, about 14 to 16, that's really missing out in football, and that is the crucial stage in football, or hurling, or camogie, whatever sport you're playing, that sort of participation can drop back, or it's also a crucial stage in skill development and in skill improvement. So I think St John's taking a great initiative, and it's a great idea to try and increase participation through getting 14 to 16 year olds involved in all the camp. There's none for them after the cold camps, and there's none for them up to well, really, they want to be playing until minors, things like this, and they're off all, all summer for their holidays, so I thought we might as well throw something in. Oh, it was very enjoyable, you know, it was great to give something back into the community and just really enjoyed their getting the crack with the young fellas, you know, a bit of penalties and same way crack, you know, just, I can remember these camps when I was a young fella too, I remember John Morrison coming to my own club uh, many, many moons ago when I was under 12, and I, I still have great memories and moments of and that, and that camp, you know, hopefully these young fellas here can bring a bit of that away with them. For like, Division 3 or 4 club, the, the setup they have is unreal. Uh, this pitch would be as good as any first pitch in any, any other team in the county, so they're very lucky to have these facilities and they've worked very hard to get them. It means a lot to us because it, 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 um, it's just everybody remembers John and the club uh, have been very supportive and they're helping us with it too. Um, we've had a lot of support from a lot of people, um, county players, from young fellas here that are. Um, Coaching, it's been it's been great. I know the family, uh, the J Mac, uh, the the family that set this thing up for John at Mullen, and you know it's a great way to remember him. And I'm sure he'd be delighted seeing the participation that's here and people that are coming here to play in his name. I think it's an important message that's sent out maybe to the rest of the community, the GA community, about safety in the road. And you know if lessons can be learned, that would be a great thing. Yeah, it is surely. Yeah, you know you have to you come in the getting up into adulthood now too and they sort of have to be uh, you know be careful in everything they do and just in life in general and driving too you know and there's accidents happening all over the place and uh, carnage in the roads and just hopefully they'll take a, something out of this here into this camp. Yeah it's a very important message especially around here John was killed in a car accident because he wasn't wearing a seat belt and um, I think it's very important for children to know that and to know that you know lives can be saved from something as simple as wearing their seat belt. And do you think that message can come over through football? I hope so. I hope it can. I think this is the, the area to target them. Yes, I think we will listen.